Hello all, welcome to this new lesson on data ranges in C. So in the previous lesson, we discussed about the various uh, types of data types that are supported by C language. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the different ranges of values that can be stored in variables of various data types. Having said that, let's get started. First of all, what do you mean by a data range? So data range indicates the range of values that can be stored within a variable of a specific data type. It means data range will indicate the set of permissible values that can be stored uh, into a variable of a specific data type. Okay, so for example, in C language, we have four different types of data types, right? So first one is int, uh, second one is float, third one is double, and the fourth one is care data type, isn't it? So this data range will indicate the possible set of values or possible range of values that can be stored in an integer variable, the possible range of values that can be stored in a float variable, the possible range of values that can be stored in a char variable, the possible range of values that can be stored in a double variables. And that is why I told you data range will indicate the possible set of values or the permissible set of values that can be uh, stored in a variable of a specific data type. Right. So before looking into the different possible values for a different set of uh, data types. Okay. So we will first understand what do you mean by these four important qualifiers. Okay. They are short, long, signed and unsigned. Right. So let me explain these one by one. Short qualifier will indicate to the compiler to allocate two bytes of memory location for this integer variable A. Or in simple words, short qualifier indicates the compiler to create an integer that is of two bytes long, right? Now, long qualifier indicates to the compiler to allocate four bytes of memory uh, location for this integer variable A. Or in simple words, long qualifier indicates the compiler to uh, create an integer variable that is of four bytes long, right? Now, Signed qualifier indicates to the compiler that this integer variable A can hold both positive values as well as negative values, right? And unsigned qualifier indicates to the compiler that this integer variable A can hold only positive values, right? So these are the four important qualifiers that you have to understand to understand the range of values or to understand data range, okay? So in the next slide, I've given you a, a table which will indicate the different range of values supported by different data types. So let us look at it one by one. So we have four columns over here. The first column will indicate the data type. The second column will tell you about the range of values. The third column will tell you about the number of bytes allocated. And the fourth column will indicate something called as format specifier. Okay, so let's not worry about the format specifier uh, as of now because I will be discussing about format specifier in a separate lesson when I'm discussing about printf specifically. So for now, let's just ignore this column and then we'll only concentrate on the first three columns. Okay, so let's start with the first example. So the first uh, data type is signed char, right? So if suppose I create a variable A of type signed char, then the amount of memory that is allocated on the RAM for this variable A is one byte. And the possible range of values that can be stored within this variable A ranges from minus 128 to plus 127, right? So similarly, if suppose I create a variable A of type unsigned char A, that is if I create a variable A of type unsigned char, then the amount of memory allocated for this variable A will be one byte because it is of char data type. And the possible range of values that can be stored within this variable ranges from zero to 255, right? So as you can see in the first example, uh, the range includes both positive values as well as negative values. And this is because of the qualifier signed. Whereas in the second example, you can see the, the range of values includes only positive values. This is because of the qualifier unsigned used within this data type. Okay. Now coming to the third example. So we have short signed int. So it means if I create a variable A using the data type short signed int, then the amount of memory allocated on the RAM would be two bytes. Okay. Because it is of type integer and the qualifier short has been used. 
and the range of uh, values that is permissible to be stored in this variable a will range from minus 32768 to plus 32767 as you can see again this range includes both positive values as well as negative values this is because of the usage of signed qualifier okay and the size the amount of memory allocated is two bytes because of uh, the qualifier sha right now as next example if suppose i create a variable a of type short unsigned int then the total amount of memory allocated would be 2 bytes okay because it is a short integer and the possible range of values that can be stored within this variable a uh, will range from 0 to 65535 as you can see we have only positive values in this range and this is because of the unsigned qualifier used here right now if suppose i create a variable a of type signed integer okay then the total amount of memory that is allocated for the variable a would be 2 bytes okay and the possible range of values would be from minus 32768 to plus 32768 so this is the range of values that can be stored within this variable a and as you can see we have both positive values and negative values because of the usage of uh, you know signed qualifier okay and now as a next example we have uh, unsigned int if suppose i create a variable a of type uh, uh, unsigned int then the total amount of memory allocated for the variable a would be 2 bytes okay and uh, because we have used unsigned qualifier the possible range of values that can be stored within this variable uh, will be uh, is within the range 0 to 65535 okay now if suppose i create a variable a of type long signed int right then the total amount of memory allocated is 4 bytes because of the long qualifier and it is an integer integer data type and as you can see the range includes from minus this value to plus this value as you can observe over here the range of values includes both positive as well as negative values and this is because of the signed qualifier used here okay as a next example if suppose i create a variable a of type long unsigned int then total amount of memory allocated for this variable will be 4 bytes and the possible range of values that can be stored in this variable a will range from 0 to this big number okay as you can see there are only positive values uh, as part of this range of values this is because of the unsigned qualifier okay and now suppose i create a variable a of type float then the total amount of memory allocated is 4 bytes because of the data type float okay and the possible range of values include minus 3.4 into 10 to the power uh, 382 plus 3.4 into 10 to the power of 38 right so this is the possible range of values that can be stored within a variable of type float right so as a next example if suppose i create a variable a of type double then uh, the total amount of memory allocated would be 8 bytes because of the data type double and uh, the possible range of values that can be stored into this variable a uh, will range from minus 1.7 into 10 to the power 308 to plus 1.7 into 10 to the power of 308 right and uh, as a last example if suppose i create a variable a uh, using the data type long double then the total amount of memory that is allocated would be uh, 10 bytes okay and the possible range of values that can be stored within this variable a include minus 1.7 e uh, 1 minus 1.7 into 10 to the power 4932 to plus 1.7 into 10 to the power 4932 right so these are the possible range of values that can be stored in variables of different uh, data types okay so and i also want to tell you one more thing that uh the sizes and ranges of int short and long are compiler dependent and in my current example the sizes of this figure are for a 16 bit compiler it means uh, when i say 16 bit compiler okay it means that if suppose i write int a right then by default my compiler uh, considers this int as a short integer and therefore the amount of memory allocated for this variable of int a would be 2 bytes right so that is what i meant to say and one more thing i would like to make uh, clear is i want to make it clear is that if suppose i do i have not assigned or i have not added any kind of uh, qualifier over here then it by default means it is a signed integer right so uh, instead of writing sign if if i just say int a it automatically means it is a signed integer and it means it can take both positive values as well as negative values right 
So having said this, hope you have understood what you mean by data ranges and you also understood how to identify the kind of values or the range of values that can be stored into variables of various data types using the qualifiers short, long, signed and unsigned. Okay. So in the upcoming lesson, I would be discussing about how to print these values using uh, a built-in function called as printf. Okay. So um, if you have liked this lesson, please don't forget to like this video and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well as click on the bell icon so that you will uh, receive all my upcoming updates of all these programming series. Okay, so meet you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all so much.